Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of House of Ways and Means. So today we are talking all about advice. Advice you get when you're in a relationship from external sources. So you'll listen to basically a person who's coupled or married mm -hmm. um, over someone who's not. Yes. Um, I would say too though that maybe someone who's widowed or a widower, um, I don't want to leave anyone out, and even um, someone who was divorced that I would like to know like, you know, what were some of the pitfalls that you experienced in your marriage? What are some things that I could, you know, do to avoid those pitfalls? Right, so, what would make? What is it that would make you say side eye someone's advice? Uh, maybe a single person, uh, someone who's been married but is now divorced. I mean, why would you think twice before uh, listening to them? Like, if you've been married six times, divorced, okay, nobody died, or somebody died, or all of them died. <laughs> I'm not to get any advice from you. You got me telling me kill off my husband, or you're disinterested in marriage, or there's some a commitment issue. But if you've been married six times, you obviously really love marriage. I mean, sir. I mean, experience. Sir. They say experience is the best teacher. But only fools can't learn any other way. Who that's the rest. Of, that's the rest of that quote. Is it? No. Yes. Some 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 black person added that to the end. <laughs> When they were talking to their kids. <laughs> no, that's, that's not a cut goes for real. Experience is the best teacher, but only fools can't learn any other way. Who would you take advice from? Um, I mean, I take advice from anybody. I mean, married, divorced, children. I mean, a lot of times, children, they, you know, they think in very simple terms, so they pretty much just know A plus B equals C. I mean, that's not mathematically correct. One, one plus two equals three. They, they pretty much know, hey, you know, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. They just give it to you straight. A lot of times older people, they have kind of, you know, experience gives you these reasons why you say, well, it can't, it's not that easy. I have to, you know, go you this way and that way. And I have to, you know, yeah, it's not black and white. You have to consider feelings in a situation. You have to consider, you know, sensitivities. You can't just do what you want to do. Hmm. I also don't think I would take advice from a, like a single person who just cannot keep a relationship, male or female, doesn't matter. Or, or I, I just, <laughs> I mean, it depends. If, if I'm looking for relationship advice, um, as far as like what makes a fun date, or you know, I don't know, maybe the person has advice on like the best restaurants for a date or the best activities for a date stuff like that but when it comes to like the nitty-gritty like technical type of advice on the actual relationship if you can't keep a relationship or you're disinterested in keeping a relationship then what what there's you can't offer me something because you've never had it well, how would you know if they're they don't want a relationship or they don't want the best for your relationship. I mean, you automatically just presume that they're giving you advice to sabotage, that would sabotage you. I no, mean, I'm not thinking that they're giving advice. I would like to think, no, although those people do exist, but my idea is that if they are intending, they have the best intentions, and I, presume, I would like to think that someone I consider a friend would have the best intentions for me and for my love life. So... But if they have the best intentions even with their own life and they're unable to make healthy choices, then whether they have the best intentions for me or not, to me, their experience and whether they manage their life is indicative of how their advice would affect my love life. 
So basically, if you were to get some advice, say some unsolicited advice from someone who is maybe a bad relationship history, or you know, is, is single for for reasons that you think are their own kind of their own fault, you would what would you do? Would you just immediately discard it, or would you maybe check it against some advice you could get from someone who's in a, what you consider a successful relationship? Um, I think I would do a, mi a mixture of both. I th listen, I'm very open to receiving advice, Unless unsolicited at that. I get unsolicited advice all the time. I just take my little sifter and I just sift the information out. I keep what I want and I discard what I don't. Whether what's kept is something that I want to do or not, I have to think about what's worked for me. If I've been doing the same things over and over and over again and it hasn't worked, then maybe the information provided by this other friend that I don't think would have really good relationship advice might be worth trying. So I, it, it really depends on the person, it really depends on the content of what it is that they're giving me information on, but I wouldn't immediately discard it. Well, I mean, I'm a little bit different from you, honestly. I don't take advice from anybody. I mean, I'm not open to... I thought you just said to, that you would listen to advice from anybody. So which is it? Yeah, I mean, I'm speaking more generally, but I'm saying I'm not going to seek advice from anybody. People, people give you unsolicited advice, they give you unsolicited advice, but I'm not somebody who really listen, goes out looking for any advice. Like everybody, everybody's advice. You got to say you were right the first time, you don't listen. Everybody's advice is bad. I mean, I think people, here's the thing, people know what they are supposed to do and what they need to do. They just don't mm -hmm. want to make the decision. People, people end up holding on to things that they know that they shouldn't because they're playing it in the back of their mind. They're just like, what are the odds that I'm going to be able to do better otherwise and end this? Or what are the um, what are the odds that, um, say, say you're in a situation and you're considering leaving it for another option, you're like, well, what are the odds that this is this other situation is gonna really be worse off. <laughs> I mean, people I knew know. Where you were going with people, this. people know what it is that they should do and what's best for them to do. It's just hard when you have your emotions entangled in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just feel like when it comes to advice, it's okay to listen or to hear what's being communicated and you collect the thoughts and you can sift through it. There are some people, if they've given you bad advice 50 times before, then those people, you know, okay, I can immediately discard this. I don't need to allow this to take a brain space, you know, but for me, and I guess because I'm, I'm very, I'm more open when it comes to, to situations and I like learning and I'm fine with people um, sharing their experience with me. I'm open to hearing what's worked for someone else because I don't know every, everyone. Every individual person is unique. And the way that we think about relationships, the way we go about relationships, the way we feel about relationships, it's all different. And I think that we, we are all like bits and pieces of ingredients and the proportions are different. And so like what someone can offer me in regards to advice may be able to help me in our, in our marriage or maybe in one area of our marriage. But you know, maybe they may not be able to help in another area because the ingredients that they have don't quite mix in with the ingredients needed to help us. So I mean, again, I'm open, but I filter. I sift everything out. I don't, I don't just be like, yes, Masa, whatever you say, and I just take it and I just, um, you know, apply it into my relationship. I, I, I maybe have a handful of people that I would actually ask, um, like, but it's more so in a sense of. Am I tripping, or is he, or is he tripping? And I would say this the situation, and then they would give me their input, a handful, and I wouldn't even say it's even five. But that's about it. I mean, outside of that, anything else I would say is unsolicited, and that I, you know, even the, the advice I ask for, that's also sifted. There are cases where I do ask for advice, but it's not really genuine. Where where <laughs> I'm trying to get information, you know, sometimes sometimes when. I'll do this, it's like when you're talking to a friend and everybody's going through a bad situation, then you'll try to help out by making your own life seem bad. <laughs>
<laughs> you don't want to be like, dang, bro, your life sucks. You just be like, well, yo, you're not that bad off me. My life, like, when I, you know, my wife, she, she be doing this, this, and this. What do you think I should do about that? But I'm not really, I'm, I'm just trying to make you feel better, really. <laughs> I'll be like, man, that's not. <laughs> That is terrible. I've always done that. I've been. I'm. I'm a, I don't know. I don't know what you call that. No, it is. I'm a very compassionate and I'm an empathetic person. So I try to find ways to. You, do you think that that's a definition a of compassion common, and empathy? I try to find a way to find a common ground with somebody's sadness. So okay, yeah, miserable sure. company. I understand that. So okay. I try to make myself seem miserable. But that's not good. Why? It's no. I'm, I'm not saying. Company you out. No, because you're lying. They don't know that. Listen. Everybody it's, it's does not, it's not you, a lie. Y'all, y'all hearing him, right? Not no, me lying. It's, it's not a lie. It's just an exaggeration of how bad things are. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll get back. An exaggeration I'm just of how to make bad you feel things better. are. But it's still, it's, it's deceitful. It's deceitful. Put your lip down. It's deceitful. Okay. Okay. It's deceitful. Okay. 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 If 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 you ask me if you look fat, and I say yes, <laughs> is if, that is that is, is, is if I were to just not say that, if I were to just say something else, like yeah, you know, you look great. It depends. It depends. If you think I'm fat, then tell me I'm fat. If you think I look good, yeah, then tell me I look no, good. Like every man knows that's a lie. You can't. Okay, can't every man knows for certain women. But first of all, you know that I value your opinion. Your opinion is important to me. If I ask you for your honest opinion, I want your honest opinion. There's a lot of things that he says to me that's shady boo to you guys. He don't, he don't, there's no, nothing syrupy sweet about my husband, okay? I didn't marry him because he uh, is so suave with his <laughs> no, words. Listen, listen, when she, when, she, when she be asking me if she's fat or she be saying she be fat, I'd be like, well, I'm trying to get rid of this spare tire too. Let's, let's go on a diet next week. Let's eat salad for dinner. That's, I, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm empathetic. Is that why we eat salad for dinner next week? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, I just didn't move for salad. You know, the holidays came. I ain't getting enough vegetables in. I'm just gonna move for some, some rabbit food. I don't know if I could ever believe anything that okay, ever we're getting, come we're getting off topic here. All right, so. Advice. Advice. Take it. Take your own advice, it. man. Don't be listening to the people. Honestly. Some listen, people, listen. Some listen. Don't, relationships some people are don't simple. Know. Relationships are simple. I mean, there's only a couple options that you have in every situation. What I would say is if you're feeling, if your emotions, I know women say they have this sixth sense, so I can't really talk on, on that, but I think for the most part, intuition. Intuition. you don't want to operate and make decisions when you're, you know, in an emotional state. So I would say just punt until that passes and you can see things a little more clearly. Yeah. That's what I like to do. And then you won't need me advice because you already know it's good. I think your gut generally tells you, you're right, like women, but what would you say to men if they need advice? I was to men. I said women have this intuition that oh, I'm not going to comment on that. If they, oh, that's okay, what they want to do and that's what they want to do. I don't know how accurate that is or not, but... I'm saying in general, if you don't make a decision based on, you know, an enhanced emotional situation, whether you're angry or you're feeling jealous or you're feeling, you know, whatever. Yeah. Unless you're crazy. See a, see a therapist. People who are crazy don't think that they are. Okay, but. Generally. You know, I'm saying for, you know. <laughs> anyway, it's conversation is boring. <laughs> <laughs> no more fast. <laughs> because stuff is right here. So tell us what you think, who would you get advice from, who do you think offers the best advice. And don't forget to like our video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this content. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Black Love. This is House of Ways and Means. See y'all later.